All right, this is the FM detailing cost of services sheet and a description of what I sent to the Innovation Hub. So this is the email right here to uh, one of the Innovation Hub staff at the time, 2019, January 24th. We'll scroll up to the top. Right here, the FM detailing cost of service issue PDF. It's what I emailed to them. And this is uh, in the email, Gmail, so it's in my inbox and you can you know, correlate it to an actual date. So here is the scope of services. And you can see it's dated back to 2017. So this is something that I've been working on for a long time. Even before the hub, this is something that I went to school for in 2013. I worked for a fabrication company. Um, and I started my own company, my own business. And this is where that scope comes from. So I've been developing businesses and starting different uh you know, startup, just small stuff, not not anything really big. This is just a lot of just the paperwork side of it and just trying to describe what I do. And so at this time, I was um, detailing steel for fabrication. And I was working with um, a professional engineer from California. And I was also trying to get my own jobs, um, subcontract my own jobs. And this is how I set up my cost of services. And it's, I try to be descriptive on exactly what I do and what I can do and how to charge for it. <clears throat> that way there's no, you know, there's no question about the work that's done. And a lot of it falls, you know, it's a pretty high dollar an hour. Some of the smallest figures are $26 an hour. And a set of procedures are at least 15 uh, dollars an hour, which is something that's added to uh, what you already have, or you know, one of these other categories or services that you're working on. So for the Innovation Hub, which was 3D modeling, one of the main projects that I worked on, you can see um, it's a $45 an hour project. <clears throat> rate, uh, $45 an hour project rate. So very, you know, try to describe each service and what, you know, what it means. Down here I had you know, my phone number and the document title because I had other documents that I created um, for my business specifically um, to show what I, um, what I do and how to outline the work and um, how to, the communication process in my business. So down here I also have a copyright symbol, <clears throat> which I believe is kind of legally binding, if not you know, actually legally binding, based on saying that this data is something that you can't copy because it is um, specific to what I've done and how I created this, um, this business. And this file, you can pull it up on my uh, on my computer here and see the original date of creation for this file so it can be proven that I created this file a long time ago even if it's just an inserted um, date here um, actual evidence of um, creation can be gone down to the actual origin file which I won't do right now in this video but this is just describing and showing what I actually sent to the Innovation Hub and how I have actually been working on this workflow and my services for a very long time, uh, even before I met the Innovation Hub. Because this right here, although it being 2017, I started this project before that. So you can say I started this project around 2016. And I don't remember exactly when the actual file date was created. I had to actually go and find the file and 
look at the creation date to show you the real creation date. But, I mean, it's easily, you know, I mean, you can easily ascertain that. I am a professional in this industry, and I have been for a long time. And through these emails, you can see that Innovation Club had that knowledge of whether or not they were competent enough to decipher what it meant. Uh, that's not up to me to decide. I just know that I presented who I am as a professional a long time ago, trying to be um, just a nice guy, a nice person to say, hey, you know, you need help, I can do this, because this organization, I'll, I'll show you what this organization really is later, but in the end, it's some, a place that you're supposed to want to help. But I want to outline that what happens when you do help and how it can, you know, come around and bite you in the butt or just, you know, make your life miserable. So that'll be end of this part, the FMD telling cost of services and how it links back to the innovation hub.